Hey guys, how's it going? Garrett up here with you guys again. Uh, we're on the hilltop and today we are going to be discussing the importance of proper technique and muscle growth. Uh, first thing that we have is uh, technique. Uh, technique is always going to be a priority over heavy weight. The second thing that we do have is uh, lift for the purpose and find your why, drive yourself in success, okay? So uh, if you do not have the proper technique, uh, what you can do is you can end up injuring yourself and actually end up with muscle imbalance. Uh, muscle imbalance is whenever you actually start to notice a uh, greater progress or a uh, deterioration in one of your muscles versus like say if my left shoulder is bigger than my right shoulder. That doesn't mean do single arm raises with just that shoulder. Don't try and catch it up, right? Your body will fix itself as long as you continue to train it uh, simultaneously, okay? So uh, when your muscles aren't the same size, do not try and make them catch up. Okay, just just keep working on it. It'll it'll develop and it'll it'll work itself out. I promise. Uh, isolation and muscle targeting. Okay, so uh, what we do is isolating. That means that what we're doing is we actually find the best angle and the best motion to let's say if I'm doing a curl, right? I'm gonna go ahead and grab this curl. If I'm doing a curl, I'm not just swinging it around, right? I get a strong stance, I extend my elbow so it opens up my bicep, and I bring my palm to my shoulder, right? Strong isolation, controlled movements. I'm not using a 45 or a 50 to curl, I'm using 20s, okay? So lightweight is a lot more efficient than heavyweight and swinging it around. Um, if you guys have any questions, my office is right over here. And if you guys have any bit of uh, information, anything that you guys want to do, if you guys want new uh, uh, workout uh, exercises or anything, come and ask me. I will not hesitate to help you out, all right? Thank you. How's it going, guys? Uh, Garrett over on the hilltop again. I'm here to show you guys some exercises, uh, just a little bit of um, isolation and technique. Uh, so the first one that we do have is a rear delt isolated cable crossover. It's kind of a mouthful, but uh, this is basically uh, just an easier way to isolate the rear delt, which is the rear part of your shoulder, the back part. So you're gonna stay right here, strong core, keep yourself stable, get the good stretch all the way up, and then contract it all the way down. See how I'm not turning, I'm not giving myself any leverage. This is pure rear delt, okay? You can always switch it back to the other side so you can do the other one. But notice how I'm not doing a whole lot of weight, right? Technique is way more important than lifting a whole lot of weight. So I could go heavier, but do I want to sacrifice my, my technique? Do I want to sacrifice my form? If I can go a little bit more weight and still maintain that form, I'm absolutely going to do it, okay? So there is a sweet spot with finding what that weight should be. Right? If I'm able to do it with no hesitation, no strictness, like it's okay for me, I'm definitely going up. If I don't struggle, I need to go up, okay? The struggle and the consistency and the strain on your muscles is what you want, all right? Uh, so we do have another exercise as well, and these are called the tricep kickbacks. Okay, so I'm going to kick back my elbow, kick it up. Right? Isolation and form. All right? You can always switch it to the other side. Figure out your weight. See which one is more efficient if you need to go heavier, if you need to go lighter. Don't sacrifice your technique or your isolation. All right, thank you.